Hey folks, Rob here. Another super warm day here in Wisconsin. I'm at the Delafield Fish Hatchery. This beautiful building behind me, stone building, was built in 1907. It was the second fish hatchery built in the state of Wisconsin. And at the time it occupied over 30 acres of, of area, much of which has been converted today into a sports complex. So we're gonna check out the local park. There's a volleyball area, some waterfront, We'll see what we can find. If you dig history, come along with me. Let's see what we can find together. Eighty five park mode, two chevrons down, getting a lot of junk here. And I can see what we have here an aluminum can that we will gladly take to a better resting place. Sixty six, sixty seven park mode, possibly a wheat penny. And indeed, it's a penny, not a weedy, modern-day Lincoln penny. But uh, that VDI number was correct. You watched my earlier video. I shared with you that uh, what I'm using is a little cheat sheet that I cobbled together from some of my own experiences with VDI numbers. I, see, I saw some other posts online. I'm going to update this and add to this a, uh, some more of the trashy stuff as well. But as you can see, I've laminated this. And um, I'll put some more information in the video below if you are all interested in doing something similar. But there we go. The VDI numbers are ringing true. Way to go, Simplex. All right, I think we got another one here. 71, 72. Right about there. Okay, folks, I found the target here. Pretty rocky soil. Um, she was down probably about five inches deep. What we have here is one of Mr. Lincoln's brothers here. This one happens to be a weedy, a wheat penny. Looks like it's 1946. Pretty cool. I love to find the Wheaties. You know, what was interesting, There is there was a particular year when the U.S. government had a shortage of copper so i'll put some information here down below or on on a title slide that talks about this but during that year they produced pennies out of steel steel pennies i believe it was just one year you can buy them they're not terribly expensive uh in uncirculated condition but they're really kind of cool the fact that uh, they do look like a nickel otherwise it looks like a regular penny but hey we've got a nice cool weedy here in the fish hatchery I'm about uh, 30, 30, 40 feet away from a running stream here. And uh, who knows how long this guy has been down there in the ground. Very cool. Notice the signal here when I go over it real slow. I get nothing, okay? If I increase my speed, this is where I'm getting a signal here. It's still very, very faint. Seventy-nine, eighty, pretty deep. I'm in park mode. See what field mode says. 78, 79. This one wasn't down as deep as I thought here. I can see it. it fell right out of the plug. And I think we have a modern dime. 
it was definitely ringing up in the high 70s 80s i'll have to go back and take a look at that yep modern day mr roosevelt right here wonderful on to the next target Normally when I cut my plugs, I like to leave a little bit of a hinge, flip over the plug. Um, I was told that uh, that's actually a healthier thing for the grass. The grass can go back quite easier that way, but uh, nevertheless, that's how I handle the plug. This is the plug I just pulled the Roosevelt dime from, and by using the blue cloth here, I was able to repair this in a very neat fashion. So there you go. Park mode. 73, 74, 75 ish. Unfortunately, looks like it's Miller time or Pepsi. Aluminum can. Surprised it was ringing up in that range. Let me double check the hole here. Nope, I don't see anything else in there. Okay. Next one, 97, 98, six inches. The heel towing it, meaning I'm going side by side at the top and at the bottom of the target signal and the number staying the same. So that's a good sign. 96 on the top and six on the bottom. That's the middle right there. All right, we'll give her a dig Stay tuned. Well, that was nothing but a metal pipe and Something that we do not want to touch. We'll leave it go All right, I'm out today just walking along a nearby trail here hit a 90 92 signal looks to be a modern quarter 25 cents richer today. There we go. All right, folks, I wanted to show you this. I saw this overturned log here. Checked it out. Nothing exciting underneath it uh, other than a piece of aluminum foil. But these mushrooms here are pretty interesting. I kicked a few over by accident, and in doing so, I noticed that they're releasing a ridiculous amount of spores with just the slightest touch. Absolutely fascinating. And not too far away from there, on this cut tree stump, I noticed these these little orange uh, I'll call them fungi growing outside of the outside of the tree stump as well. They're all over the place here. But anyway, fascinating day. I think we're going to call it quits here. What a great opportunity to get out in December metal detecting in Wisconsin at the fish hatchery. Not a lot of great finds, but a great time outdoors nevertheless. Listen, thanks for watching and if you like these videos and you want to see more, please click the subscribe button below.